Good day. Have you ever wanted to add a drop shadow to something in paint.net and wondered why after all of the revisions and all of the changes that have been made to it that that feature still isn't readily available? Well, I mean, you know you can do it manually. You can go through and add a bunch of effects to make it happen, but there's no convenient single click way to do it. Well, it turns out there is. It's simply an add-in from Chris Vandermolten, and we have the extension that he built right here. So let's download it and install it and show you how to use it. It's not difficult, but it's not completely obvious. So let's just download it here. All right. All right, so before you unzip it, just right click on it, select properties and select unblock. And then just, I just use my right, you can you can unzip it any way you want. I just right click and drag, and then uh, you can extract, uh, well, let's just extract it. We'll extract using the Windows extractor. But dingo, there it is. And then you run the installer. And you'll see it comes up with drop shadows, duo tones, uh, monochromes, blurs, color accent, fade accent, gradient, color, you know, uh, grid lines and uh, object lines. So a whole bunch of really cool little features. So let's click install. And now when you go into effects, you'll see a number of things that you didn't see before. Object align, super helpful. Uh, you'll see in particular for this conversation, drop shadow. And if you look through, you'll see a few other of these little icons with the puzzle pieces. Those are his plugin, right? So you can tell which ones are new, which ones aren't. Great, okay, so let's show you how to use this. So let's say you've got an image, uh, it doesn't make any difference. Let's just, uh, let's just uh, uh, background fill this with something to prove a point. There we go, so we now have that stunning image. I will draw a lovely circle. Isn't that special? And I'm gonna off-center it, there we go, so it's like that. And bucket fill that. There we go, so there's my stunning image. Now, I need to put something in here and I want it to have a drop shadow. So here's an article we wrote on the icons for Android. It's basically the master list of icons. Doesn't make any difference uh, what you choose. In fact, let's just take a screen grab here. And I want this entire text. There we go, just like that. That's what I want. Go back to paint. Now you might think you just paste it in and then you go to effect and it's under object and drop shadow. Not that much happens. It's not really good. What's going on? Yeah, just let me explain. So undo that. What you want to do is edit, paste as a new layer, move it to where you want it. Then you think, okay, now we'll do it. Ah, I'm jumping ahead again. No, it still didn't do it. <laughs> okay, this is why. Uh, so what we need to do is just get out of that. So I'm going to control A to select the entire uh, layer. And you can see here that I've got my second layer, which is this one selected. And now what I need to choose is the uh, rectangle select. And I need to select larger than just that block. So let's do that. Now it's going to work. So when I go to effects and I go to object and I go to drop shadow. And I want the drop shadow to be red. There we go. See that? And uh, to make this point, I want to make it a little larger. And I would actually like it to be an actual drop shadow. So I'm going to shift it. There we go. Actually, that's a bit much. So let's go here. I'm going to set this to seven and seven. And uh, I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit. And there we go. Now, when I select all, there we go. That is how you do a drop shadow in paint.net. OK, so there are two more things to uh, go over quite quickly here. The first is that it remembers that setting that you just went through, so you don't have to re-jig it every time. So let's go back here. We'll choose a different icon. I'll just take the snipping tool and grab, it, it doesn't make any difference, so let's choose the SDI card. SD <laughs> card icon, there we go. And uh, let's go back to paint. Okay, now you do the same thing. You don't just paste, you paste in a new layer. All right, then move it to where you'd like it to be. Uh, and then what you do is grab the rectangle select, select larger than that area, 
making sure that you're on your new layer, as you can see I am here, and then go to Effects, Object, and it remembers the last settings. Isn't that nice? Now, if you wanted to uninstall it for some reason, you'll find that it is not in your apps and programs. The way to uninstall it is to go through the installer again and just deselect the features you don't care about or that you don't want. If you, the unlikely event something was causing you problems, you just deselect them. Click cancel on that because I want to keep them. And the last two things are pretty minor. Uh, under adjustments, you'll see that he's added all kinds of additional things here, color accents and blue tones as we talked about. Uh, the very last thing is this, which is checking for plugin errors in the unlikely event you have something. I have not had any troubles, so I don't know why you would, but you might. I'd really appreciate it if you would click like. It really helps with Google algorithm. And if you like this type of thing, please click subscribe. We do this kind of stuff all day long. Beyond that, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. We'll get back to you shortly, uh, usually within a day. But you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's urtech.ca. And that's that. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.